Hey everyone, welcome back to dev vlog number 2. Today I'm excited to share how I've been leveling up from just using the basic Unreal Engine 5 VR template to adding a full meta rig to my avatar with the help of two awesome plugins. If you missed my first dev vlog, you can check it out on the upper right corner. So let's dive in. I started by tinkering with the UE5 VR template. It's pretty well set up already, but as a developer, I like to know how everything works. So I made a new level, added the VR pawn from the template, and used the same game mode. I thought it would work smoothly like the example, but it didn't. The first problem I ran into was the movement. You can move using the UE5 locomotion as is. To move around, I had to add a navigation boundary over the map, and then I had to press P to see the pathways. Now the areas covered in green are walkable, but I couldn't move in the non-green areas. I also learned that I could modify these green areas, which was important because I didn't want avatars to overlap awkwardly with objects like chairs and tables. It's hard to sit down in VR without the right settings. After getting the basics down, I returned to the VRE plugin aiming to add a full working rig to the project. I replaced the mesh, but initially it didn't work well for VR. It was more like a non-movable model. I adjusted the height to get a better feel for it. After some research, I learned that I needed to add IK nodes to my animation blueprint. It was a challenge because all the joints also had to be replicated so other players could see my movements. I'm just a stiff T-posing avatar. While searching for solutions, I found a plugin called Advanced VR Body IK System. I was hesitant, but I reached out on Discord and talked to the developer Jake. He was super helpful and it was like heaven sent. He promised a tutorial within two days for everyone who bought his plugin to integrate it with VRE. Sure enough, the tutorial worked perfectly and I was able to add the UE5 mannequin without any issues. Encouraged by success, I challenged myself to add a meta human and it worked just as planned. The only minor issue was that my human avatar didn't have any hair, but I managed to tinker with it and got it to work. The hair still needs some work, but I'm currently learning how to add higher quality hair. I'm really impressed with these two plugins and the support from Jake made the experience even better. Our avatar can now adapt their fingers to objects they grab using the Dragon Free IK Blueprint snippet that Jay provided in his tutorial. With a full body mesh working with this plugin, I made more progress on the VR chat space project than I expected. I've also added EOS for connectivity, and my next goals are to play with another player, get a custom level, and try swapping out my avatar model mid-game using a UE5 model that uses a UE5 skeleton. Please hit that like and subscribe button to stay updated with devlog number 3. Your feedback and your suggestions are crucial as we continue developing VR realms.